Hi, welcome to another edition of North Shore Journal. I'm your host, Walt Kosmowski, and I'd like to introduce my very special guest today, good friend and frequent guest, Leighton O'Connor. Leighton, welcome. Thanks for having me, Walt. Well, uh, you know, we were just, I was just thinking the other day that uh, uh, we first met almost 20 years ago wow. when you were in a different life. Uh, and uh, uh, I think you've probably been a guest on my show a half a dozen times, right? We first met when I was producing Paul Guanty Live. Oh. And you were a volunteer on the camera. Oh, wow. So that goes way, way 2000, back. 2003, 2004. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's been a good 20 years. Yeah. And then when I started my own show, you were my guest a few times. And uh, in a previous life, you were a, a videographer and photographer. Yeah. And you followed the International Sailboat Regatta, mixing with the Glitterati and the Jet Set. Yeah. And, and now you're, uh, you're, you're uh, uh, completely <laughs> a different... Uh, you're, you're, are you an ordained minister, or what, what is your? You're not ordained. I'm credentialed with Assembly of God. So okay. Yeah. So and you're you're a pastor, and uh, your life you're you're a man of God, and you mm -hmm. and you do missionary work, and that's what we're going to be talking about about today. But let me ask you, just going back, what what motivated you to here you are mixing with the <laughs> you know these people in the in in the Mediterranean Monaco and, and the yeah. jet set and so what motivated you to turn into so, a, um, I've always helped the homeless since the mid 80s actually yeah and I was shooting a sailboat uh, race in uh, uh, Alicante Spain the Volvo ocean race that was shooting it but I was spending a lot of time with the homeless there helping them and praying with them and uh, and I uh, decided I was going to have a life change in my lifestyle because I was really enjoying that more than being on these big boats and actually driving some of these big boats and decided I was going to change my focus on my life a little bit. Call, God put that calling in my heart. Quite a change. Quite yeah. a change. Well, we're going to talk first about you. You have just finished um, a 300-day trip, right? Almost a year out, right? Yeah, Nine months, uh, ten months? Yeah. Uh, we've done outreach in 47 cities. Okay. And three more to go. We have actually doing outreach in... Uh, Maine this weekend. The next weekend is uh, Providence, and the following, the last trip is uh, in uh, Boston and North Shore. We'll be doing outreach to the homeless. Okay. Now I'm going to show a series of, of images right now. I just kind of randomly put okay. these up, and I, I just want you to talk to some of these images. These are pictures you took uh, during that trip, and I, I have to say, and I have to tell our audience that 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 some of these photos are just magnificent. Thank I mean, you. I mean, you you are a, a photographer, a videographer, but your your composition and your eye is just is just stunning. I'm, I'm very jealous <laughs> of you. that. But uh, let's let's just go. Let's show image number one, and maybe you can tell us where sure. where this was. Okay, so this. Talk about this image. So that's an image that I took with a drone in Moab, Utah. Okay. Yeah. And let's let's just next number two, that's, please. Uh, that's Utah again. Yeah. Um, very very nice. So you and so you have you have a drone, obviously, to, right. to take these pictures. Mm -hmm. You do it with a with a uh, drone. That's along the Dempster Highway in the Yukon, heading my way towards the Arctic Ocean. Okay. Yeah. That's off a glacier, and it's a salmon glacier in British what, Columbia. What a stunning, stunning yeah, it was image. quite a place to camp. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And you're solo out there in that. Uh, just, just me. Every okay. once in a while, a vehicle would come by. Yeah. But just me out there. Okay, and we'll, and we'll yeah. talk a little bit. Okay, there's, and there's another one. That's, uh, that's either a uh, sunrise Mohab, or sunset. Utah. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe New Mexico? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh. Okay, and next? Uh, that is Sedona, Arizona. That is the grass fields in South Dakota, I yeah. believe. Now, now, you, you, now, to say that your Jeep is, is customized or tricked out would be an understatement, I think. Yeah, it has a tent on top. It's uh, set up to do a church service anyplace. And um, it has a refrigerator, portable toilet, water custom cabin in the back. So what happens so, is when I do these outreaches during the week to cut down expenses, I camp and uh, stay in the woods yeah. uh, between, between these outreaches. So that's why it's set up to do that. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and this is, this is overhead, an overhead yeah, that shot. That would be the Yukon uh, along a river, along the Dempster Highway. Yeah. And you have, I think we have an image of, of the inside. Okay. That's yeah. again, that's, uh, that's you looks the, like you're cooking dinner there or whatever. A little, little, campfire. <laughs> little, little fire there. Yeah. Yeah. And um, now, and there, that that's that's your itinerary. Uh, 
Right. Um, and uh, you're, as you say, you, you finished almost all of it, 47 mm-hmm. cities out of a planned 50 or, or what have 28, you. 28,000 miles, so I left uh, Linfield. Okay, you answered my next 6th. question, right. So yeah. you put on 28,000 miles yeah. uh, on, that, on that Jeep doing, doing this missionary work. Yeah. Um, and let, let's take a look at the neck. Okay, so this is this is what the inside of that that um, that top that little tent thing there. So tell us a little bit about about. So this. I've got it pretty tricked out. It's twelve volt. I've got power. I got uh, fans. I've got lights. I can charge my um, iPad. I got movies downloaded to my iPad. So when I'm kind of resting at night, I can watch watch the movies. Yeah. But it's it's pretty pretty comfortable. Now, do you are are these where, where you camp out at night? Are these like regular campsites or whatever? Do you get do you have uh, do you register and get a or do you just drive somewhere and just just decide this um, is where I'm going to stay for the night? Majority of the time, it's it's called boondocking and there's no camp campsite, no facilities. Okay, I do stay at campsites once in a while, but boondocking is is more affordable because you don't have to pay. Yeah, and there's no restrictions of kind of where you go, and as long as it's public land, yeah, and uh, you can camp there. So you you, I, you haven't had like people come up to you and say, what what, what are you doing here? Why why are you here? Uh, I think that happened in Texas uh, back in November. Yeah, somebody said you can't camp. A ranger came and said you can't camp. Oh, here. okay. Asked me to move along, which is fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, and do we have a, another picture? Okay, so this is uh, this is <laughs> breakfast or this is dinner? <laughs> this is dinner on the Salmon Glacier. I'm kind of known for my cooking, my oh. TikTok videos, my YouTube videos for what I prepare off the, the back of the Jeep. I do shrimp alfredo, uh, seafood fra diablo. Uh, this happens to be some ma- some chicken. I do all kinds of things. Gee whiz. Yeah. And here I'm thinking you're sitting there chewing on oh, beef jerky. No, no. <laughs> I have yet to eat a dry, uh, uh, dry uh, freeze dry food. Yeah. So, so you now what would you buy this locally and, and cook yeah. it? Is that what you because yes. you don't carry it all with you? Well, yeah, I, I mean, for one day maybe. What happens is when I leave uh, Monday mornings, I usually go to Walmart and fill up my Jeep with food. Yeah, in my refrigerator with, with food, and I try to be a little creative with it. And I, I eat spam once in a while, and spam cakes, and omelets, and and. Uh, Fajitas and all kinds look, of look stuff. At, look at that. That's fantastic. So, so if I'm going to be in the woods, I want to eat well. Yeah. Clearly, by looking at me, I do eat yeah. well. <laughs> okay. And, and it, it, oh, oh, oh we're upside down there. Well, yeah. that's probably the, the Arctic, uh, Arctic Ocean. It, that's but that, the Arctic Ocean, which I drove to. It's kind of on a bucket list for a lot of people. What I do is called overlanding. Yeah. So that's on a bucket list for a lot of overlanders. And yeah. that's the furthest, just about the furthest north you can go on a road. Wow. And the continent of uh, North America. Yeah. Now, and I think, uh, uh, so this is, a, this is an image for, tell us what's happening here. So, so this, this was outreach last weekend in Manchester, New Hampshire. Uh-huh. Some of the team there, um, and different groups meet me in each city. Okay. So are these people that assist you, these three? Yeah. Uh, so uh, these ladies are actually uh, from Calvary Christian Church. Okay. Yeah. And, and so, so you arranged to have people right. uh, at, at, at the locations mm-hmm. helping you with the staging and setup, and they do the local promotion that, okay, that that, that pastor, uh, Leighton O'Connor, will be here, et cetera. Right. Okay. So all the cities, that these are all prearranged. So I had all my right. stops set up way before I left. Right. People knew way before I left that I was going to be in there particular city then we have donations shipped into them bean town blankets as a sponsor okay and they ship 50 blankets into each city for me okay and i have a storage unit in linfield filled up with hygiene kits and bibles and i have volunteers that go in that storage unit okay send me that stuff to every and city and these are do you pay for this are they donated by by well, or how do they're you... paid for by donations i cash don- donations i receive so then i go and buy the hygiene kits yeah and and whatever else i need and then someone is there and they they ship that stuff right. out to, to, to i have a leader in each city Okay. So okay. that leader gets takes re- right. receipt of the. And uh, so that's uh, in uh, Manchester, New Hampshire again. Outlet uh, outreach last weekend. Okay. And then we we went to two different locations in Manchester and probably served about uh, seventy of our friends on the streets. Yeah. So typically, when you go to a, a location, how how many people would you serve? How many? How, how oh, it can be anywhere from fifty to a couple hundred. Yeah. Yeah. And how many shelters and how many volunteers and how many. Uh, Jeeps we have filled up with stuff. Yeah. And yeah. would you typically like uh, do a sermon or, or just would you individually counsel people that are there? I'll pray with them, ask if they want prayer, talk yeah. about Jesus and see where they are on their, their walk of faith. Um, and I have done some preaching at different stops, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And do, do people take you aside personally? Like they say, I have this, an issue and yeah. can you give we me some with, guidance? I prayed with several people yeah. last weekend in Manchester. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. And then I think uh, if that's the last image on that series, um, uh, we we have a we have a video that you've put together, 
And, uh, and uh, if Matt can give me a sign from the control room that that's queued up, can we show that uh, video now, Matt? And this Thank is a you. compilation of photos taken over the last nine months at, okay. at various outreaches. Okay, so yeah, so we'll be we'll be showing that in in a second. That's that's just fantastic, uh, Leighton. I, I can't tell you how much I admire the work that you do. And uh, now, now you you I saw you there in that video. You do you do like personal ministry to people that mm -hmm. maybe have an issue, and they and you take them aside and pray. Uh, tell us about that. So um, I can kind of tell when somebody's going through something. A lot of these people are going through stuff, and I walk over to them and can I pray for you? Yeah. And uh, I'll say, how can I pray for you? And we pray right there on the street. Yeah. Now, in addition to the to the physical things, the blankets and the food and what have you, do, do you do like a, a like a sermon, or you do like a? a uh, some cities I've done sermons. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Now, how how does how does Leighton O'Connor keep his spirituality, you know, to your spiritual reservoir that high? Because I, I can I, I can you know just imagine this is very draining, both physically and mentally, on you, but. But you've got to be you've got to be a one a plus every place you go, right? Uh, devotional time in the morning, praying in the morning, reading the Bible in the morning. Yeah, making sure I'm uh, worshiping on Sundays, and I'd go to a different church every Sunday when I'm on the trip. Yeah, and if I didn't have uh, uh, a church to go to because I was out in the woods, I would have communion with myself. Yeah, yeah. Well, now having having done this trip here, mm -hmm. uh, next month in April. 
uh, you were going on a one-month trip to Kenya and Tanzania. Why right. don't you tell us tell us about that? So uh, I've been to Kenya and Tanzania before. Yeah. And I'm on the board of directors for a nonprofit called Good Hope, and uh, that's Calvary's nonprofit. And I also have my non own nonprofit called Mission for Hope. So what I'm doing on this trip is I'm visiting wells and clinics and feeding programs and orphanages that Good Hope has helped to tell stories about what we've done there so we can fundraise down the road for more wells, more clinics, more orphanages. So these are wells that, that, that Good Hope funded funded and right. actually uh, drilled in locally and, and, and so on and so forth. So you're right. going to visit these places that you've, uh, right. that you've assisted. And also preaching at some churches and I'm bringing 200 uh, Bibles with me for children and doing a bunch of other things as well, yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, how, how uh, w was it very difficult to do, to organize this, this trip and organize? How, 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 did you, how did you manage that with local people? What uh, well, I have contacts between pastors I know there and pastors here that have relationships with pastors there. Okay. And so just setting everything up. But I'm, I'm kind of good at uh, uh, planning trips. It's all done in an Excel file. I know how many miles I'm going to go through or gallons of gas I'm going to go through or where I'm going to be each night and where, you know, where I'm going to camp or where I'm going to stay at a hotel. So I'm kind of really good at logistics. <laughs> I, would <have> be. <laughs> I, would, I would imagine after, after yeah. the, the trip you just went on in the States here, uh, mm -hmm. uh, that, that, that's got to be a, <laughs> a necessity. Yeah, I'm pretty I would, good at it. I, I would say. Yeah. And we have, we have a, a, a picture. I have a, a picture of the whole, in case our, our, our viewers are not familiar with Africa, let's put up the first picture of the whole continent. So you can see this is, this is Africa. And if, if you look uh, uh, on the, the right part of the picture, below the Horn of Africa and be, be, uh, between the island of Madagascar, which is the green island there. So uh, Kenya and Tanzania, the, 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 blue, the blue area there is Lake Victoria. And uh, part of Kenya is in Lake Victoria, is, uh, Lake Victoria is part of Kenya and part of Tanzania. And the, the equator actually goes, I think, right through uh, Lake Victoria, very close to, mm -hmm. so that's, that's about where it is. So let's show the no next picture and, and, and zero in a little closer on where you'll be. So uh, in some places they, 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 they spell Kenya with an I, but uh, this is, um, uh, again, there's Lake Victoria on the left and, uh, and Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, I think you'll be going through Nairobi. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. So let's show the next uh, picture. Next image. So this is, uh, again, uh, Lake Victoria, uh, the way they've cut this off a little bit. Uh, but let's look at your itinerary. The next picture will actually show your itinerary. And so tell us, tell us you know, where you'll go and, and how you've arranged this and, and, and tell so us So I what fly in Nairobi, uh, which is to the right of the red on the top, the red point on the top. Right. Fly in Nairobi, then I'm going to be visiting some wells to the east of uh, the west of Nairobi, and also the south of uh, Nairobi, visiting those wells. Going back through Nairobi, going to Mombasa, which is on the coast. Which is on the coast. So that's uh, that, visiting a well there. Right. And let's just orient our, our view. So, yeah. so the, the the blue on the right, that's actually the Indian Ocean, right. which is which is you know the eastern East Africa faces on the the Indian Ocean there. Okay. So from Mombasa. You're From doing Mombasa, then I'll go down the coast of Tanzania and going way, way to the west, which is a town called Leila, where there is a um, well. And I've been there before. I just want to, so well is at a school, and I just want to make sure the wells are operating properly and servicing the community well. And also preaching at a church there as well, Suba Wamba. Probably pronounced that very, very wrong. Then after that visit, I go back to Dar es Salaam, which is on the Indian Ocean there on, on the, on the, 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 the east there, um, and then I'll visit some friends of mine who are missionaries on Zanzibar. And then oh, from yeah. Zanzibar, I'll go back to Dar es Salaam and fly out of uh, Dar es Salaam. Yeah. Back now, home. Zanzibar is, is just south, of, or is, it, is Zanzibar just opposite Dar es Salaam? Just right off the coast. Right off the coast, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. Uh, 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 now, now, how will you be traveling by Jeep or by your so, own? So um, I have hired a land cruiser for okay. the month, which has a rooftop tent. Okay. So that will cut down on expenses as uh, far as, rather than being in hotel, I am staying at a few hotels and cities, but I'll be staying in the, um, the staying on top of the Land Cruiser yeah. most of the time for the yeah. two mo for and, the months. And, and, and uh, I just want to point out to our viewers that if you look at Lake Victoria, the, the big, huge area 
uh, you're kind of circumnavigating it, uh, is the Serengeti Plain, right. which is probably the, the, the most intense concentration of, of wildlife on the planet. You know, you've got tens of thousands of, uh, of animals. There's zebras and, and, uh, and giraffes and wildebeest and, and so forth. So I will be going through some national parks as I travel. Right, yeah. And I have a whole ministry in which I create social media content of my overlanding and that... Uh, is posted on all kinds of uh, Facebook pages and TikTok, YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, when when you when you come back, we'll definitely have to uh, definitely. take a lot of good pictures, which I know you will, and we'll right. have to we'll have to reprise uh, that particular uh, that particular trip in Africa. Um, uh, yeah. Thank you, Matt, for that. And now you also uh, on your on your return, again, you're gonna you're gonna be here for uh, uh, how long? A week or two? Like three days. Three days, <laughs> and then you're, a little crazy. you're you're embarking on another trip. Let's let's show that last uh, the slide. There, there you go. Um, so you're going to be just kind of give us an overview of that. So I am the founder of the Christian Jeep Association, which I founded in 2018. Which at the same time I founded Mission for Hope, which was doing the mission work with the homeless. But the Christian Jeep Association is a fellowship of people who drive jeeps and love Jesus. So we have 41 chapters throughout North America, and I am going on a five-month trip starting May 9th uh, and going to all the events my Jeep chapters, Christian Jeep chapters are at or attending. So I'm going, I think it, I, we just added another event today, so I think there's 18 different events I'm going to across mainly the East Coast. The furthest west I'll go to is Texas, uh, but that's what I'm doing for from May to September. And there's tons of Jeep events all over the country, and thousands. Some, some of these events have thousands of people, and we set up a booth. Sometimes my Jeep is part of the exhibit, and we talk to people and uh, pray with people and tell them all about the Christian Jeep Association. Now, now when, did, when did you, when did you uh, uh, start the Christian Jeep Association? Back in 2018. 2018, yeah. and you've got 41 chapters. Yeah. And, and how many members did you say? Uh, it's not a paid membership. It's all free people can join, but we have about 8,000 members. 8,000? 8, yeah, and they get decals and wristbands. and. You have to have a Jeep to join. No, not necessarily. Oh, really? No, no, no. <laughs> you don't. No, that, that, but most of them, you know, 99% of them drive yeah. Jeeps. Well, uh, let's put up the lower third for the ChristianJeepAssociation.org, if you could, Matt. Um, this is uh, if, if people are interested in the in the Christian Jeep Association, we have a uh, we have a, uh, a URL that they can uh, the Christian Jeep uh, Association dot org dot org or uh, C Jeeps dot There org. we go. Is that yeah, okay? That's it. www dot yeah. Christian Jeep Association dot org. Just mm -hmm. the, just the way it sounds. The capitals are not. It, it doesn't have to be capitals. Right. It's all uh, does it, it's it's case insensitive dot. Dot org and get get more information on that. And do, do people pay any kind of fee, or do they have to? It's all at this point. It's all donations. It's all it's because all... we spend a fair amount of money on the decals and the shows we go to, and we, uh, a lot of the shows we provide some water and snacks, and we have special uh, canopies and tables and tablecloths. Just like anybody would do at a trade show, yeah. this is what we do at these these shows. Yeah. Now, uh, I also want to talk a little bit about uh, the, the you, you were talking about how you have a you have a, a center uh, uh, in Lynn for the blankets and the, and the kits and stuff. Okay, like. so um, Beantown Blankets is, is yeah. the sponsor. Yeah, and they've been a sponsor since 2019 when my first trip when I did this for six months and did outreach in 43 cities. But they um, ship 50 blankets into each city yeah. that we go into. Yeah. yeah. But now this, there's a cost associated with that. And I, I'd like Matt to put up the, the Mission for Hope uh, URL. Um, and uh, we, we want to we say that, that you are always looking for donations. Yeah. Obviously, right. it costs money for, t for, these, for these trips, for the blankets, for your gasoline, for mm -hmm. everything else. So uh, if people go on this website, can they... Can they um, donate electronically right. with a credit card? So, um, Mission for Hope and Christian Jeep, they're 501c3s. So okay. any donation is tax deductible. Okay. And if you go to missionforhope.us, click on the donate link. Yeah. Five different ways to give. Yeah. And we can send you a receipt for your giving at the end of the year. But the money goes towards uh, hygiene kits, storage unit with all the hygiene kits are, 
uh, fuel for my vehicle, repairs for my vehicle, vehicle um, all kinds of expenses involved in traveling the, the country yeah, for 300 yeah. days. Yeah, I understand that you, we were talking, <laughs> you might want to relate that to the uh, to our audience. We were talking earlier about your transmission yeah, in, yeah. Your, in your Jeep, that it's kind of given up the ghost. And yeah, 183,000 miles on the Jeep, and uh, it's in the shop right now for a new for for, transmission rebuild. For a transmission, oh, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, incredible. Now, you're, you're, um, you're, you're, um, uh, congregation or your church? Where, tell us where where you're centered. Where where are you? Uh... So uh, my home church is Calvary Christian Church. <clears throat> I was a pastor there for a couple of years, and God called me back on the road, so I did this mission trip. So uh, right now it's, it's my church. It's where mm. I volunteer my time. Yeah. On the weekends and during the week, I'm involved in celebrate recovery there, and I help facilitate that. I'm also part of the worship team and a vocalist, and uh, help with our. We have a food pantry every other Thursday, so I was there yesterday helping distribute food. We have about two or three hundred people to come by on a Thursday, and we give them all food, thousands and thousands of pounds of food. So I'm involved in that as well. There's a lot of other things I do over at the church. What do you do in your spare time, waiting? <laughs> <laughs> Try to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. I, I'm a great admirer of yours. Thank you I, so much. I've said that once. I'll say it again. You're, you're, uh, you're such a, a, a good Christian man, and you, you're, uh, you, have, you have so much compassion uh, and, and, and so many good traits. I, I, I can't tell you how much. Well, I, I appreciate you having me over the, on this show over the years. I remember the first time I came on, I was probably wearing a suit, and I actually had brown hair and a brown <laughs> beard. And uh, it's been a while, so I appreciate you having me. You've always been a great, great supporter, and always enjoy being on the show. Walt, you do a yes. great job for this community. Well, thank you very much, and I, yeah. I think uh, we're gonna we're gonna have you as a guest uh, at uh, at the uh, Beverly Rotary Club in, oh, in, in the next week or so. Love before, the Rotary before you before you get. Uh, Get going on your next trip. So, uh, well, Leighton, thank you very much. Thanks for having uh, me. And uh, as it. always, it's just just a joy to have you on uh, on the show. Um, I'd, I'd like to remind our viewers: you've been watching uh, North Shore Journal. I'm your host, Walt Kosmowski, and uh, we'll see you next time.